People get excited by people with high energy and big ambition. They gather around you <laughs> wanting a hit of whatever you whatever it is you're on. And you're high on work and working towards your dreams. I think, in my opinion, there are three kinds of people who you will encounter in your journey to greatness, whatever that means for you. The first one are the ones that are so jealous of you that they will ignore you and your work. The second one uh, is a group that will want to feed off of your energy and catch a glimpse of your ambition. And the third one are your true friends who will help you and support you in times good and bad. And today I want to talk about the second group. In my first year of university, I was very mission-driven. A student of geospatial engineering who, in retrospect, wanted to make it more user-centric. <laughs> Human-centric. The majority of my projects had that as their main goal. I wrote articles, scientific papers, projects and conference applications. I won grants, awards and scholarships. And I had an initial group of friends who'd follow me around, help in project delivery, and I enjoyed being part of something greater than simply being a student. Until it became too much. Until my greatness and ambition outgrew both their comfort zone and mine. By that point we were pretty good friends, or at least I thought so. Wanting to share my joy about receiving an award and getting a long, bored, loud swallow type of response with an insincere congratulations should have been my first clue. But it wasn't, <laughs> because I always tend to see the good in people. And as I continued to make my way through ideas that make life on Earth more enjoyable, they started drifting away, helping less, calling less, coming up to chat in the hallway less, being in my life less. It's been almost five years and now we're almost like perfect strangers. I've tried to naively make contact throughout the years but was never made welcome to talk freely and openly about what's going on in my life because for them it made them feel less than. I was sad that it was happening because the only thing I ever did and wanted to do was lift others up. I felt like I personally failed in doing so. It took me a while to unset that expectation of myself. Spring of last year, when my entire world seemed to be falling apart, for a reason I can't quite remember, I was chatting to one of those old friends and I have shared how I felt, that I was having a tough time. Their comment was something along the lines of, see, it wasn't necessary to try to prove yourself all the time. To whom? I was solely following my heart's desires and enjoying myself every step of the way. That sentence felt like they were waiting for the day things will start going south for me. Like they were relieved by my failure. It seemed that even though they never had the same aspirations like I did, they still wish they did. So when my plans failed, they felt better about themselves. That was the day I learned. You can only lift others up to how high they want to go. If this issue inspired you to explore your own relationships with friends, colleagues or family in some way, do let me know by leaving a comment below or sending me a DM or whatever else. <laughs> and this time I have a special announcement and I'm really happy and excited about the announcement. And it's that the on next issue we are welcoming a special guest. <laughs> the benefits of talking about perfectionism, expectations and sense of worth are greater when coming from a range of perspectives. And that's why I'm thrilled to announce that unsetting expectations first upcoming guest post is coming. Yay! Our first guest will talk to us about the dynamic of perfectionism in the workplace. It's a super interesting conversation which I'm really excited to bring to you. Now, so from now on, every second issue of the newsletter will feature a special guest. So one issue will be my own and the other one will be a guest's. Um, don't 
forget, of course, don't forget to sign up <laughs> to join all of these conversations if you haven't already. And you can do so by, I hope you know this already, subscribing to the YouTube channel or following the podcast so you get the notifications when a new episode, a new video is uploaded or you can subscribe to the newsletter directly on unsettingexpectations.substack.com All of the links are down below. Lastly, if you have a story to share, I would love to lift up and amplify your voice. Please don't hesitate to send me a message to be a guest post here. Thanks for gifting me space in your day and really, Thank you for listening. I appreciate you. Take good care and I'll see you next time.